day my beauties welcome back and if you guys are new here welcome to my channel so in today's video i will be showing you guys what i got from tj maxx marshall's and i have a few things from ross so i got one big bag and one little bag i went ahead and separated everything as far as like the clothes and my purses i did pick up some purses and i got makeup so i separate everything but i will let you guys know where i got everything from all right so i got this big old big old bag um filled with stuff so let's just start off with the clothes. I found me a pair of jeans. I feel like I share with you guys that I have a hard time finding jeans and for jeans to fit on me well. I do have a few places in mind that I want to try like American Eagle. I want to try Target jeans. I did try these clothing items on but you will see that in a vlog. I do have a vlog coming up. I just picked these jeans up. I got a size 11 and they're just some basic, some basic jeans and this is the back and then it just has like that the shreds on one side of the jeans and then the other side is kind of plain i picked up this cute dress it's from pink rose and this was 12.99 and it's just a cute dress to just throw on in the summertime it does have a collar and it's like a nude like that nude khaki looking color like neutral color I got a jumpsuit from Marshalls. It was $16.99. I felt like it was a little pricey. This is the front part. And then it's really long. And then the back is super cute. It's like crisscross in the back. So I got this cute to black dress for $16.99. It's from Olivia Ray. I always see this brand um, in Marshalls and TJ Maxx. So it has like the spaghetti straps and i can wear it two ways i can wear it like as a spaghetti strap and i can see that you can like wear it like this so i'll probably do this way and it's just a plain black maxi dress and it flares out and i thought this would be cute um on days where i just want to wear something really light and airy so i had to get this shirt um I had to get it. I love graphic t-shirts. I got it in a size small. This is one of my favorite episodes from Spongebob. The minute I seen it, I just grabbed it. It was $7.99. I got the Krusty Krab Pizza, the pizza for you and me. I had to get this shirt. That's one of my favorite episodes because I just think the episode is so funny when they was delivering that pizza. I got these cute pants for work. I don't know if I'm going to wear them to work or not, but these were $14.99. And these are just some like really light and airy joggers so i probably will wear them to work i got them in a size small and i love joggers like this because they fit really nicely um they make your booty look good i don't know if i tried these on in the vlog but at the bottom it has like that scrunch so this would be cute you could dress this up and down okay so let's get into these purses i do got one pair of shoes i got these steve madden flip-flops for 29.99 these are super cute i had to get these um i think it's another pair of steve madden flip-flops that are really popular i did see those they didn't have my size or else i would have got that one but I typically don't like sandals that are square toed because I just have long toes and I just feel like it makes my foot look longer than what it already is. But I like these. I love the way they fit. They hug my feet very well. And my to me, I feel like my feet don't look long in, in these shoes. But I just think they're so cute and girly. I did go ahead and get an eight and a half. I can wear the eight, but the eight was just right. And I felt like I needed a tad bit more room. Um, I thought these were super cute, super cute. So y'all know those Steve Madden bags been going viral all over TikTok. And yeah, I've been one of them that's been hunting, child. I've been hunting for that bag. But I did end up finding this one. I know this one is really popular. I heard somebody say that this bag looks like a lunchbox. But to me, I think it looks like a cute little like makeup bag. So I went ahead and got this one. I seen it in tan and I seen it in white. I didn't get whites because I got another white bag. I'm gonna show y'all. This was $24.99 and I found mine at TJ Maxx. And it does come with the cute little hardware. I actually haven't unzipped it yet, but it got all the paper and stuff in here. But that's what it looks like in the inside. This is so cute. I love that it's like a neutral color. 
if you follow me on TikTok, you know that I showed this purse to you guys. So um, this was $29.99 and I found this at Ross, you guys. This was the only one I found and I grabbed it so quickly. I'm not a big fan of like white. Like I like white with other stuff, but I don't like white by itself. I know I'm going to get this dirty, but I had to get it. I had to get it. These purses are just selling out. So I had to get it. It was $29.99 and it does come with two straps. I think I like the thick strap better. It makes it look more like, you know, everyday, like, you know, um, versus the regular strap. It looks, I don't know, it just makes it look more casual, like I'm going to like a day party or something. So it's an option that you have with the bag and it, it does come with like this little wallet. It's not that roomy. So you only can feel like, you know, like your phone, some lip gloss, you know, you can't fit a lot in here. So if you're someone that, um, I don't know if you guys can see, but if you're someone that likes to put your whole life in your purse, girl, you, you, you only can put a day in here, a day of your life in this purse. That's all. And then the other bag that I showed on my TikTok, I found this at Ross as well. This is $17.99. Juicy Couture bag. I had to get it. It's really cute. I'm not going to lie. This is not my style as far as like the design of the bag. I don't really like holding bags like this. I just, I never did. So I'm going to go on Amazon and I'm going to see if I can find me like a gold strap or something like a chain strap and wear like a crossbody because I just don't see myself holding it like that all the time. I have a mixture of beauty items and makeup. So I went to TJ Maxx y'all and I found these flat stove irons on clearance you guys from golden hot so i found three of them but i only got two i should have got the other one so monday if things go as planned i'm gonna go back and see if they have it left i just don't feel like nobody's gonna buy it i hope not but y'all these were on clearance for six dollars do you see that six dollars six dollars girl what, what is this called uh the name is on here somewhere this one is like the barrel the curling like barrel but i thought the name was on here somewhere and then this one is like the flat um like the flat iron type of you know stove thingy <laughs> stove curling iron but i thought the names were on here but but anyways yeah, this is the flat stove iron, and then this one says professional stove iron. So, I got both of these because my mom, she has a stove. Um, so, yeah, she used these. So I got these for her to use, and I'm probably going to go back Monday and see if they have the other one. The other one was the really, like, the really small barrel, but like I said, I got these for my mom because she uses these. Um, yeah, so she used to do hair. I don't know how to use these to save my life, like... No, no, I just stick with a regular flat iron. I would never try to learn how to use those because I already know I'm going to burn my face. I already know. The next thing I have right here is it's halfway empty. Like this is going to be in my empties already. So this is the Mixed Chicks Curl Sculptor and I found it at Marshalls for $7.99 and I'm literally like right here. I just bought this what wednesday i think i bought this wednesday either thursday or wednesday wednesday or thursday i bought this and i used it today and i'm not gonna lie it does have my curls popping oh that's how i got my curls looking that's what it looks like in the back i need to put some more right here because it's, it's a little puffy i feel like i use a lot of this is because this is really watery and i was not impressed when i first you know put this in my hair i'm like why is this so watery i'm like what is this i'm like maybe it's just maybe it's for like a different kind of hair different kind of hair textures i'm like i like the cream but i started to see my curls form like like after a few seconds of me putting this in my hair i started to see my curls form i'm like oh my god it looks so pretty i would never seen my curls pop like that ever like maybe it might have been like a, maybe a few products that made my curls pop but this re really made it pop i have like in the front my hair don't really curl like that but it still blends in really well like i just love it i love the way it looks so 
I need to go back to Marshalls and pick up several of these if I can find it. Let me know if you guys use this. I also have the leave-in conditioner. So I put in the leave-in conditioner and then I um, went in with this. I do have a mixture of other products um, in my hair, but for the most part, this is what's making my curls pop. So I like it. I really like it. Like this is first day hair. Like I did this this morning. So I am so happy. I'm definitely going back to get some more like that. This is Bay right now. Um, I did grab this Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Yogurt Glow Getter Honey Mask. And this was $5.99. This was $5.99. Girl, this stink. I haven't put it on my hair, but it's just stink. It, it's, it smells like some spanking honey or something. I don't know. It's just really, it stinks. But let me show y'all what it looks like. I just wanted to try it. I was curious. And anytime I see something that says Manuka Honey, I'm like all for it. And I just thought the little jar was cute as well. I have tried the Manuka Honey and Yogurt line. I think I tried like the hair protein or something like that. Um, but yeah, I seen this and thought, you know, it'd be something cool to try. I also picked up these Japanese Velvet Touch Up Razor. I already took one out and used it today because I really needed to do my eyebrows. So yeah i bought that dragon beauty powder from marshall's which was 4.99 but this is the powder um the jar is pretty it looks a bit orangey but i mean i'm gonna see i'm gonna see i'm if it if it don't look good you gotta go one thing that i got right here is not from tj maxx marshall's or ross i did order this from I got this from Ota. This is the Simpsons Times Revolution palette. This is the Summer of Love shadow palette. And I wanted this palette when it came out. The only reason why I wanted this palette is because I have the Simpsons collection, like the Halloween collection that came out last year. I have that big palette and I'm just like, I gotta get this one. I do think that Revolution does a good job with their packaging. I just love their packaging. So, uh, but I just had to get this palette i thought it was cute i did swatch some shades um not too long ago but i just had to get this really really cute and it was on sale like for lately i've been seeing them uh put the revolution palettes on sale for like four or five six dollars i believe this was like five or six dollars like no lie like this is a big palette so if you all are not aware Kara Beauty has new pro palettes if you go on their website I think they have like five or six new pro palettes as far as I know they don't have all of the new pro palettes at the store so I got pro 21 and pro 22 them are the only palettes I've been seeing so let me show y'all these palettes they're so pretty they're $9.99 and this one is called right the wave y'all i had to get this so i'm hoping the other pro palettes come because i'm collecting every palette every palette every pro palette i love blue eyeshadow all these variation of blues yes i'm about to like get down with this palette like seriously like this is so cute like all year round like if you want like a pop of blue like i love blue i have it in my waterline but this is cute especially towards like the fall and winter girl and the packaging is beautiful i love it and then i got the cool whatever palette and this one is in the taupe like packaging yeah it's really neutral at the top and then at the bottom you get a little bit more deeper shades but it's kind of giving me like bare necessities vibes from um colourpop Okay, and the last Kara Beauty palette, you guys, I totally forgot that this palette came out and I went on their website and I was like, okay, I'm going to order it on the website because I have not seen it at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. So I so happened to find three of these palettes and y'all, I totally forgot about this. This is the Hello Honey palette from Kara Beauty. Can we just talk about the packaging? This is beautiful. Like The packaging is so pretty when you go at marshall's and tj maxx and you walk over to the pictures and the canvases and they have these pictures that look like this with brown skin girls this what this remind me of and i want to pick up one so bad but i don't have nowhere to put it but these pictures look like those pictures at tj maxx 
and I was like I'm picking this up I didn't know that it was Cara Beauty I was just gonna pick it up regardless because of the packaging is just giving and I look I'm like oh my god I forgot they came out with this palette I feel like they just be coming out with products $12.99 by the way I don't care how many colors I have like this I'm still gonna buy them I love soft glam neutral shades I love brown eyeshadows I love nude eyeshadows that is my look. I love soft eye looks. This is so pretty. So, so pretty. I just love this. Y'all, the packaging is everything. Yeah, I haven't seen nobody talk about this. But girl, yes, we got to do a look. So I found this Revolution Cream Palette and it was on clearance for $4.50. I did find another one on clearance, but I was like, oh, I'm not going to get it. But I should have kind of regret it if it's there when I go back I pick it up but y'all this packaging is so cute so cute I was kind of disappointed in the colors because it looks way darker back here and Revolution has it bad with that I feel like because every time sometimes I get a palette from them and it be darker online and I get it in person it looks like this real light skin so some of these colors I'm probably going to have to use, most likely going to have to use as the eyeshadow, but um, I can use it as a highlighter as well. I got this Taraji P. Henson Hydrating Hair Milk. This was $6.99. I got it from Marshalls. I did not mean to buy this. I didn't notice until I got in the car. I thought I took it out of my cart. And I was like, damn, I did not mean to buy this. So, <laughs> But I'm going to try it. I don't think I like the smell though. Yeah, but I know she has like some new body care products at Walmart. I do want to try like that body butter. Um, I found these nails from Tip Beauty. These were $4.99 from Marshalls. I love neutral color nails. So they go with everything. They just go with everything. Like I have on some now um, from Kiss. They look very classy. And so every time I see a pair, I just try to pick it up you can never have enough neutral nails on this doja cat um, palette this is the powder blush trio in the color peony you got it for $4.99 I wanted this when the collection came out because I just wanted that mustard color I wanted this mustard color so yeah I can't wait to try that on this morphe lip gloss in the color scene stiller it's just a really pretty like red color um, I do have another lip gloss from Anastasia. This is in the color Warm Bronze, and this was $7, $5.99. Super cute. She needs to come out with some new glosses. Like, she's been slipping. Um, Y'all remember when Anastasia glosses were, like, all the rave? Oh, this is pretty. It's like a little, it's like a mauve shade. I really don't like shades like that. So, but I'm gonna try to use it. <laughs> oh, and then I got a, I got another Doja Cat product with BH. This is the nude lip gloss, and this was $3.99. And it's just a nude color, just a nude. Is at the top right here. And then I got one more lip product. So this is from Anastasia. It's a matte lipstick, $6.99. It's in the color Cool Brown. And y'all, I feel like I got this. I don't know why. But I will swatch it. Really, really pretty. Ooh. Definitely, like, this is nice for every day. But I am, like, getting fall vibes from that. That's cute. You can wear that with and without a lip liner. And then I got this Jap Uness precision baking brush and this was $3.99 if you have a hard time picking up or packing eyeshadow on your lids it could be your brush it could be your brush it could be the eyeshadow it could be a combination of both but majority of the time sometimes it's the brush and I'm gonna do a video on eye brushes like my top five or my top ten favorite brushes and this is gonna be in there I see this brush all the time I have a lot of them in my collection if you guys can see you see how the brush is on a angle imagine dipping your brush into that powder that eyeshadow and you pressing that 
eyeshadow down and the reason why this brush is so good for that because it's on an angle and it's like a c shape it's like a c shape eyeshadow brush and it's on an angle when you press in that eyeshadow it's basically kind of packing all that color on the brush and then when you put on your eyes all you gotta do is kind of pack it just pack it on there the brush is doing the work for you and then i like that it's a c shape because you can create a cut crease without having to use concealer so i love using this brush i see it all the time this is the name of it and i will talk about this brush again and i see this all the time at marshall's so I highly recommend to pick up a few of these because this is really good to pack on eyeshadow. Then I picked up four Sigma brushes. So I got the Sigma L06 Precise Lip Line Brush, $4.99. I hope I can find this brush again. Hope you guys can see it. It's really small. I hope I can find this again because I can use this for multiple reasons. Sigma F89 Bake Kabuki really really nice like look at that angle i love brushes on the angle i got the fo5 small contour brush hope i find another one of those sigma f57 emphasized contour brush this was 9.99 so hope you guys can see that too i probably have like a clip of the brushes when i take them out so that's pretty much everything that i got from marshall's tj maxx and Rawls. i will talk to you guys later if you guys are new here make sure you guys comment down below and subscribe give this video a thumbs up and share it and i will talk to you guys in another video bye